Hi, this is Kevin. Today I'm going to show you how to refill those integrated cartridges. Those called the integrated cartridge because the print head on the bottom and the cartridge is built into one unit. Those cartridges are really simple cartridges. HP doesn't have a mechanism to track how, many, how much ink in them, so you can just keep refilling them, refilling them until the whole thing wears out. Uh, some people believe um, HP uh, will disable the printer or HP will make the print quality suffer if you refill the cartridges. And those are misconceptions that I'm going to tell you why. Okay, first, a couple years ago, about about 10 years, 15 years ago, I have to try, I have to check exactly the date. Uh, there's a lawsuit against HP in Ohio and uh, consumer one. Basically the judge, the judge side uh, with uh, consumers that we, we have the right to refill the cartridge. So HP cannot take this away from us. HP cannot disable the printer or make the print quality suffer. So after that, HP developed a th kind of way to um, make you believe uh, you cannot refill the cartridge. Okay, uh, HP have a three, uh, I'll show you three error messages. Okay, actually it's not error message. HP wants you to believe it's, there's something wrong with your printer. But it's not air. It's, let me say the first message is, hey, your printer is low on ink or oh, ink toner low. Okay. And uh, the mess message body says, do you want to buy, buy HP cartridges? And uh, if not, just click cancel. So you click cancel or uh, you click close. So you close the window. Okay. Uh, so the second car, the second message is a little bit deceiving. The second message will say, your, your printer is almost run out of ink. To keep using this cartridge, continue or click OK or click Yes. Uh, if you want to stop printing, click Cancel. So there are lots of uh, people just click Cancel and send me email say, hey, Kevin, uh, my printer is preventing me from using the refill ink. What should I do? Uh, I'll, I'll say you should read, okay, and understand. To continue, use the cartridge. Click OK or click continue, okay? So third one is uh, uh, even more uh, deceiving. Third one is when you put a a cartridge inside the printer. If the cartridge is, has less ink or uh, the cartridge is made by a third party manufacturer, which is totally fine. Okay, HP should accept, should by law accept third party cartridges. And uh, there's one lawsuit about five years ago, and there are two more lawsuits in Europe. And there's one more lawsuit Okay, by the way, the first lawsuit got, got settled. Okay, HP paid pay the money to settle with third party. And uh, then the two in Europe, uh, the consumer one. And the third one is this year, I got an email and uh, they, they said that they are grouping together. And we're gonna have another lawsuit against HP. <laughs> okay, so you think HP will dare to not allow you to refill your ink? Okay. Um, third one is this, when you put a third party cartridge or you put original HP cartridge, but the cartridge was used before, HP will say this, counterfeit, counterfeit or used cartridge, detect it. And uh, after that, uh, uh, do you want to cancel the print? Click cancel. Do you want, and uh, do you want keep using the cartridge, click yes, or click continue. Of course, click yes, and then it's gone. You 
just go back use use cartridge. Uh, those messages are specially designed to suck you out. And uh, by itself, it sounds really clear. But uh, what's really confusing you is uh, uh, those messages going on. And then you don't know how to refill, and uh, you somehow have some real technical issue with the cartridge. Now, for example, they refilled the cartridge, but after they refilled the cartridge, they did not. I'll, I'll show you how to prime the cartridge. They did not. They did not prime the cartridge, so the cartridge is not ready to print. So they put it back in the printer. It showed counterfeit or use cartridge detected. They click yes. Then they print out a blank page. The blank page is caused by you did not prime the cartridge. It's not caused by that message box that you clicked. So they email me and say, hey, Kevin, uh, you said HP cannot stop me from using refill cartridge. And actually it happened today. And I'll tell him, go prime the cartridge, see what happened. They prime the cartridge. I'll say nine out of 10 will not reply to my email. And uh, one in 10 will say, thank you, it worked. Okay, Th by the way, this video will be long, very long, because uh, I want to cover every single thing that you might encounter with all those cartridges, all the possible scenarios. So nothing could be better if I just start with a brand new printer with a brand new cartridge, and uh, even better, I will select the lowest model, uh, cheapest model HP have, and uh, you can see if I can refill that that one. I mean, you're you're good to refill anyone, and uh, I I don't want to like uh, make a short video just show you how to add ink in and uh, leave you out there with all those error messages, confusing messages, so leave you dry. So I'm going to buy a new brand new printer. And I'm going to start to finish. I hope I can finish because there are many, many, many refills. So eventually I might get bored. So we just stop where we where, where probably we won't stop. But I want to show you step by step all the error message you may encounter and all the problem you may have. So this will be a really long uh, video. So you can view this uh, whenever you have problems, come back to this video. Okay, are you guys ready to get started? I'm going to use a brand new, brand new printer, and those are in, initial cartridges. So you can see what kind of problem I'm I'm going to facing, and therefore you can solve it at home. I like this printer because it has really a small footprint, and I can put it on top of other things, and also it's a straight feed from uh, paper feed from the back. And then install the drivers and connect the USB cord. Uh, so now we take the start cartridge um, uh, that come with the printer. And those are initial initial cartridges that HP gave you for free. And we're going to throw them in the printer. And then we just keep keep printing until the initial ink is all gone. So we're going to print. Uh, until we get the initial HP ink all gone. You can see it doesn't really print many pages before the ink, uh, ink is gone. HP only gave you a couple drops of the ink to start. And you can see the blue is gone now, so you get this uh, pinkish color. Okay, the computer light up like a Christmas tree. There are two windows. Okay, let me put this straight. HP cannot and will not stop you from using refill cartridges. And HP has no idea how many ink in the cartridge either. So what only HP can do is show you a couple of warnings. This match says low on ink. One or more cartridges look like more low on ink. Uh, do we want to buy our expensive ink? And what you say? Close. You don't need it. Okay, this one. Oh, uh, order is easy, uh, blah, blah, blah. To continue use the cartridge, click OK. To cancel the print, click Cancel the print. So what I do, if I want to use the cartridge, I just click OK. That's it. Uh, I'm going to use a BCH uh, startup um, for 
a kit for starters. Uh, this kit is called Easy 30T. Uh, to find it, you can go to bchtechnologies.com. We list all the solution here. So, for example, for if you first time come to the website and you want to go see what HP, what what those HP cartridges are, so you can click a printer refill solutions for HP. I'll give some ex explanation what kind of there are how many kinds of HP cartridges. For example, today we refill these integrated uh, cartridges. Rather than integrated, I give a, a cuter name called the Little Cube. So you know you go to refill this one. So you go to refill the Little Cube. And uh, this actually is the only kit you need. It fits, it fits all the HP integrated cartridge models. You click on it. And here it is. It has uh, four colors. And uh, it has uh, a link to our menu. And uh, if you see this video, you don't really need the menu. And it has a priming tools. So for the first time uh, refillers, you want to buy this kit. So in the future, uh, only thing you want to buy is just ink. So those tools you can, uh, can be washed and get used, used again and again. Uh, inside the tool bag, you have uh, two silicon pads, a couple toothpicks, for you to pick your, to your teeth after you refill it. No, actually not. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you what, what you're going to use it. There's a drill, and then there's a syringe. So we get our empty cartridge here. We're gonna take a knife and uh, peel the label off. You're gonna see five holes on the cartridge. There are four on each corner, then there's one in the middle. Let me open up one so you can see what's inside. So you can see there's a sponge inside and uh, then there's a wall around it. Your goal is add ink to this sponge. So the hole you wanna use is the middle hole. What I'll do is uh, I put a cartridge on top, then, then invert it. I'm kind of uh, trying from here. What I'm doing is uh, I'm from here. I'm trying to find the, this edge. Then I press it down a little bit and slowly start squeezing. Okay. So I'm finding the wall right now. There we go. I push all the way to the end, then I going down a little bit. So now I can squeeze. So now to push it all the way to the bottom. If you push really hard, you cannot squeeze it out. So push and give a little space. Okay, now I soak the whole thing. You can see this is what I did earlier. I go to the wall and then I get this part wet. Uh, however, you know the sponge. Sometime after you add a liquid, the liquid will just stay on the top, did not come to the bottom. So what do we need is uh, we need a tool to do a little bit of suction, suck the ink to the bottom. Uh, this is what we call priming tool that's included in this package. Uh, what it has is it has it has a rubber sucker, and uh, that exactly matching the size of your printhead. Lay this to the middle, okay, and then push forward and down. And let me push on the side. You can see. Okay, give a little bit of push like this. And now you want to draw the ink. See, you, you put the ink here. You want the ink coming down. It didn't have good suction, so I do again. Sometimes I, I, I hold down here, use my finger to push it down. You suck until you can, you can see the air bubbles coming out. Okay. And now let's work on the colors. 
Okay, here is so if I take the cap off here, so what the color look like? Okay. Uh, you got one hole on the top. Okay. In this case, is sometimes HP play the trick. They they will swap the two colors. So you might want to make sure that you can tell which color is which. From here, you can see a little bit yellow. So this is yellow. And uh, you can see a little bit of magenta here. So that must be magenta. And this is sign. So those two cartridges are the same card, are the same color sequence. Uh, if you do not check and you, after you refill it, uh, you, you might, uh, you'll see the color swapped. And that means you have a trick cartridge. So we have a magenta on the top. This this is what the tooth is for. So this is magenta. I don't want to verify this is uh, cyan. And this cyan. Okay. So for the color, it's a lot bit harder to refill than the black because sponge is smaller. Okay, our goal is through this hole. Um, I'm going to find the wall, okay, and then I'm going to push it down a little bit, and then I'm going to release the, so kind of uh, from the wall, I go to the, as low as possible to the bottom, then I, then I start squeeze the ink, okay, so from the hole, Go to the side and I found the, I found the wall and the die squeeze it down. Okay. Uh, don't squeeze more than 10 times and uh, you don't want to overfill it. I'll switch the silicon pad and uh, to the color cartridge. The color cartridge is shorter because the yellow one is a little shorter. And you, can, you already can see I overfill the, the magenta because the uh, magenta is falling out. So at least we, I need uh, to remove the overfill the magenta. I know some some people do not like do not like to wipe the the, the print. I'm a wiper. I, I like to wipe it clean before I insert it. Uh, this is a quick check if I overfill any color. So if I just dab it, dab again, dab again, and I underfill the, the uh, cyan, and I overfill the magenta. So I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of cyan. can see it with all three colors. Okay, cartridge is very low. To continue using this cartridge, click OK. To cancel your print job, click Cancel Print. We click OK, of course. Uh, you can see the magenta is not coming out. So you can see yellow, you can see cyan, but not magenta. Uh, don't start priming the, uh, yet. So print a couple of pages. See if I can improve myself. Uh, you also can see the black is dripping. That's because we overfill the black. So the excessive ink will, will, will come out.
and uh, we just keep uh, printing a couple pages and uh, let let everything let everything work work it out by itself. Oh, oh, we got some uh, some sign now. Good. More pages. You can see all the color is perfect after the third page. Yeah, uh, you can see uh, there's some uh, ink leaking. Uh, don't worry, just print a couple of pages, see what's going on. And uh, see? Basically, we didn't do anything and it just fixed itself. So what you saw what you saw is just ink coming down to the cartridge. You, you need to give it a little bit of time for your newly refilled ink to come down. Uh, so now you can see as uh, after a couple pages the magenta is gone. Uh, basically we did not fill all the colors with the exact amount. So right now is uh, uh, so you, you have different ink pressure you know, among different chambers. And uh, now the best thing to do is just leave it in the cart in the leave the cartridge in the printer for like uh, uh, 20 30 minutes, then come back and print again. Okay, took a long walk and I uh, think I should be okay now. Let's try to print. Uh, we see a little bit of straps on the uh, sign. But we keep printing the it crack itself after the, the second page. Uh, later on, I find why you have a strap on the first page. It's not clogged, it's excessive ink uh, because all the ink comes out. And I'm going to discuss it later at the end of the video and I'm going to show you how to correct it. Okay, we're on the second refill. Uh, we run out of cloths, so let's try to do this as neat as possible. Black. And uh, try to find that wall. Press it down a little bit. You can see it coming from the top, so we'll stop. Give us give, give a little bit of time. And uh, now we don't need a toothpick anymore. We know which color it is. So the magenta. Oh, too much. We print about uh, 100 pages a day, so uh, if we keep using this one, we we'll probably have to refill uh, maybe every other day. Uh, see the, the black come down already and uh, not much other colors. Okay, now you can start seeing the color coming out. See so the blue is coming down now. We'll run a couple pages, then decide if we want to prime it or not. And then we decide which color to prime. Okay, uh, the colors are okay. Uh, I just the uh, black need to be primed. As you can see, there's no black color. See what the problem is. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. What's wrong with the bottom one? The bottom one uh, is uh, the the print had to burn up. Ah, okay. Uh, I think we printed almost ten thousand pages. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was all like wondering. It's like why? Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I'll use that one. Mm -hmm. it look good. Okay, 200 pages uh, later, and uh, black is running out again. And now you'll know the routine.
fill it up and uh, prime it. Uh, the color didn't show it needs ink, so we just look uh, it's wet or not. Just put a couple drops on it. Mm, the Okay, this is after the third few. Okay, the black is back. And the color look perfect. You may notice we only primed the black cartridge. We did not prime the color cartridge. Because the color cartridge wasn't running out, so there's no air bubble on the bottom. So we just add some ink on it. So refill often and uh, don't wait until it's dry. Okay, this is going to be our last refill. We started this project in uh, September. Now it's December. It has been three months. So those two cartridges just keep going and going and going. So uh, we cannot find a way to kill it. So in the over last refill, and uh, we're going to try to overfill it. We're going to use the uh, BCH standard ink. So because we already have all the tools we needed from the first uh, starter kit, you might know there are different ink types. Uh, there are pigment ink and there are dye ink. For, for all those integrated cartridges, what we found is uh, the dye ink lasts a lot longer than the pigment ink. And uh, although, the, although the HP fill the black with pigment black, I would suggest you use old dye ink in it. So uh, the, if you want to get a, a bulk ink, which you can, you can go to here, ink for printers, and uh, reviewing for HP and old dye ink. And uh, this is the best four color ink for this cartridge. Now, uh, I said best because it's cheaper. <laughs> I mean, those are not really sophisticated cartridges, so I'm not going to use a premium ink in it. Uh, I'll just use a standard ink. Uh, if you want to go a little bit fancy, you can go, you can go uh, use a uh, premium uh, dye ink. But those mostly are print documents, so I'll just stay with uh, standard ink. And uh, now we can just reuse those tools, and we only get bulk ink. So now there's lots and lots of ink. Now we'll do the same for the other colors. We'll just add too much ink into each cartridge and see what happens. Because they are overfilled, so when you flip them over, you start seeing the ink flowing out. In most cases, it's not that bad because you get the ink, and that's a good thing. However, you may find you're missing one color, and uh, that color is not clogged, it's just because there's so much ink from other colors, so this color is overwhelmed. In this case, the yellow didn't show up. And uh, there's another thing that uh, I need to mention is that, that uh, what happens is so when you overfill the cartridge and you and then you prime it and you put it back and the first couple pages always look uh, uh, look like it's clogged um, and uh, especially the black because the black is bigger so it's easier to to do and so you always have a strap for the black then when you take it out you flip over and you're going to see the black is covered with ink. And uh, you clog and uh, you unclog and unclog it always. You put it back, put, put, print the two pages, always like that. What should, you, what should you do is just open it up after you print the two pages. Just wipe the bottom clean and wipe out the excessive ink. Uh, it's better to have a white paper towel do this. And uh, you wipe it clean, then put it back. Here, uh, here's an example. If you see the, this for the pack inside, it looks like a clog. Actually, it's not clogging. Uh, 
and then I use a white paper towel. Because I just primed it, I know it's not clogged, and then I'll put it back. And now, if you see the packing slip, it is crisp, it is crisp clear. So on the top is when we stop, and this is after we just use a paper towel, just wipe it clean. So, so this is what happened when you overfill. It looks like a, a clock, but it's not. We'll print a few more pages, make sure the yellow is not coming out. Actually, if you could keep printing, the yellow will eventually come out, but uh, the other ink will be gone. Uh, so basically, you are playing a game of uh, trying to have uh, three colors have about the same amount of ink in it. Uh, you can draw like uh, most of the ink out in that way. I mean, it's, uh, that, that will be automatically balanced. Or you can just add some uh, yellow and uh, then draw some out and just play playing with it. We got about the same length of uh, uh, yellow, magenta, and the cyan. So we're printing a, a couple pages, and uh, uh, you can see the color is still off. So what we're going to do is just leave it in the printer because we know they all unclogged because you, you see the same bar of uh, yellow, uh, magenta, and the cyan. So we just leave it in the printer and uh, we're going to come back the next day. Okay, we're back. So um, so it's not that scary when you have an overfill. So the key is uh, prime it, make sure it's not really clogged, and then make sure uh, you get an even bar of uh, three colors with a paper towel, white paper towel. And then, um, uh, then just leave it in the printer for a couple hours or a day and come back. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers!